Right, today I'm going to show you how I repair my uh, water pick, water floss, and um, I've got this one right here that somebody was plugging in the outlet, plugging in this to a, a 220 volt outlet AC. So it burns out the whole thing, and now it doesn't run anymore. This one is fine. This one's broken. Let me show you the inside. What happened when you plug this into a 220 volt AC outlet? So inside here is just a very simple circuit board and a motor, right? This motor here is a DC motor. It's a 120 volt DC motor. Okay. And um, the outlet is a. Uh, this is designed for 120 volt AC outlet, right? So this circuit board here is to convert 110 volts AC to DC and uh, it's a very simple circuit board it's got a capacitor four diodes so you can show you here four, four small diodes and a resistor that's it it's a very simple construction and it converts straight from AC to DC without any voltage change because uh, this is a 120 volt DC motor so it can handle up to 120 volts DC so your typical outlet, American outlet is usually between 110 to 120 so it converts straight from 110 AC to 110 DC and uh, this circuit is the most simple circuit that can convert from AC to DC and that's all about it one capacitor, four diodes and one resistor, that's it and what happens was the resistor is burned as you can see here the resistor is quite burned I can't even see the color code on the resistor anymore so I don't know what kind of resistor this is so I can replace it and uh, it looks like it's the only thing that was burned on this board or so I hope so um, I'm, I'm hoping this is the only thing that was burned on this board and I'm gonna replace it Hopefully that will work. Replacing that will work. And and because uh, I don't know what kind of resistor that is, because I can't read the color anymore. It was burned so much. I only see the black band, but that's about it. So I can't read the color code to determine what kind of resistor that is. Luckily, I borrow another good uh, water pick, and it's got the same circuit board. Same circuit board, and this looks like the same resistor. And I can read it very clearly. The color is yellow, brown, black, gold, brown. Right. So yellow you're gonna have to read the color codes to do, to determine the uh, resistor and um, I'll show you color again the resistor if I can focus so I can focus too well on here. 
There you go. So it's yellow, brown, black, gold. I think, let me see, it doesn't look brown. It's a yellow purple, I think. Yeah. Yellow, purple, black, gold, and brown. Right? So, the... So you read from, from, from left to right. If you read from left to right, it's from here to here. Right? This way, like so. And, um... Usually the gold and the brown is the last one. You cannot read the gold first. Gold usually the last one is the um, what's called the uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. The percentage of error. I forgot the word, but anyway. Um, so. Yellow is four, purple is seven, black is zero, right, for a five band resistor. Gold is, I believe, five percent. Five percent give attack error. And brown, I think, it's also error code. Uh, not error code. Um, almost same as go uh, uh, the the band right here. So, um, but anyway, it is four seven zero ohm, four hundred and seventy ohm. Uh, give attack five percent. So, I search. Some of my old TV board and found some resistor. The closest I can find is this one here. It's uh, 56 ohm. But lucky this one is just printed right on the resistor, so I don't have to do color code. Okay, and let's see this one. See, this resistor is a lot bigger than the one on here, right? But that, the bigger the resistor, the more amp it can handle. That's all about it. So it can handle a lot more amp, so it can get a lot harder. That's about it. The more important figure is the ohm, right? So if you get a big resistor, that's better. Um, you cannot get a smaller resistor than this, than the one on the board, to replace it because it will eventually heat up too much and cannot withstand the current, and it's going to be burned. So, but a bigger resistor will do. It will um, sustain the current. Better, even better than the original resistor. So let me replace it and I'm gonna try it out to see if that works. Alright, so I just look up the resistor code and for about 5 band resistor, see if we can focus here. Come on. Um, the the gold, right? So I got yellow, purple, black, gold, and brown, right? And my camera can't focus. But anyway, the gold is a multiplier, so I have to multiply that by 0 0.1. So gold is 0 0.1 multiplier, so I got 470 times 0 0.1 which is 47 and the last color is brown which is a uh, 
tolerance, which is, I believe it is, 1% tolerance. So it is a 47 ohm, not 470 ohm. 47 ohm, and that's why I think I said before 470 ohm uh, was 47 ohm, and that's why I chose a 56 ohm resistor on this one. And I've soldered this into here, and uh, resistor doesn't have any polarity, so it can go anyway, this or that. So let's see. I try to plug it in. No, no. See if it works. And um, I'm just gonna try it without water first, and just for a brief moment because um, without the water, this is the pump, and the water also acts as a lubricant. Without a pump, without water, uh, it will damage the pump the pump mechanism which is in here the motor is fine but the pump mechanism is here so uh, without the water it will damage the pump so let me plug it in just for a moment there you go it's working okay so uh, the, the reason why it worked when I plug in because the, the power the power button was on, so let's. I already turned it off. Let's turn it back on and see what happens. Right. There you go, it works. That's excellent. Before I replace this resistor, nothing happened when I turned it on. Let me show you the resistor. If we can focus my camera well enough to show you this okay on the underside of the resistor uh, I'm not sure you can see it but it is it is cracked you see that it's cracked burned and cracked right across the middle so it's uh, the power goes on one end go to the burn part and got cut off so there's no power to the machine and now with a new resistor turn on again there you go it's working now excellent And uh, I will do it. See a simple circuit, very simple circuit, so it's very easy to fix when you mess it up. So uh, if you got water uh, spill inside this board, you can easily fix it. You can easily, easily even make your own board. I mean, if everything here is burned, you can you can make even make your own board. It's just three components a capacitor a resistor and then four diodes that's it All right, folks and uh, this is the uh, water pick water floss and uh, this is uh, how I fixed it with just one resistor alright that's all I have and uh, thank you for watching uh, I did show you the let me unplug this first okay. I didn't show you the, uh, the part where I soldered the new resistor in. I want to show you how it looks like. Resistor, new resistor here is way too big. So I have to bend the, the leg so it can fit in here right, when I solder it. But uh, it's in quite good. so. It's good. Alright folks, thank you for watching.